चैतन्य चरतामृत और गली राम चैप्टर सिक्स तो लिबरेशन और सारो भट्टाचार्य टेक्स्ट वन जीरो फाइव तोमार आगे इत कथा ना ही प्रयोजन उशर भूमि ते न बीजेर रोपान कोपेनाथ आचार्य स्पीकिंग टू सारो भट्टाचार्य हियर एंड ही सेज ही हैज गिवन सम रेफरेंसेस अ सीरीज इन फैक्ट ऑफ रेफरेंसेस व्हिच एस्टैब्लिश द डिविनिटी ऑफ लॉर्ड चैतन्य एंड देन ही सेज दैट actually speaking to you is like is futile and he gives example tomar aage et kathar in front of you to present before you so much et kathar all this evidence all this logic is not required ushar bhumi te na bijer ropan so it is like usha usha ushar bhumi ushar bhumi is like barren land Now, no matter how much we, how may, how good are the quality of the seeds that we sow on a barren land, they are not going to fructify. So, Gopinathacharya's point is that no matter how solid the arguments that I make, you will not be convinced. Now, that is a saying that a person convinced against his will is of the same opinion still. or as a famous comedian said that i have already made up my mind so don't confuse me with the facts what this means is that if people are close minded then if they all they already think that they know and because of thinking that they know they feel that there is no need for them to know any more then everything that they hear they hear from the point of view of not learning anything but disproving anything that counters their preconceptions so such learning is not of much use uh, such for with uh, such discussing with such people is not of much use they often suffer from what we can say the i know disease they think that i know and that's why we cannot teach them we cannot help them rise to a higher understanding because they are so convinced that they are right tomara upar tanra kripa ya behabe e sab siddhant tabe tumi ha kahibe so so tomara upar when upon you his mercy will be bestowed, bestowed at that time not only will you accept the siddhanta but you will yourself repeat repeat the siddhanta so gopinath acharya is not entirely rejecting or condemning sarva bhattacharyas hopeless he is not what he what sometimes people say gone case or he is saying is that you need mercy presently you are like a barren land but even barren land can be changed and made fertile the seed itself cannot make the barren land fertile but something else has to make it fertile and that is maybe rain or some manure some fertilizers whatever so similarly if a, if a heart is hardened by the by the pride of learning by the by the preconception that i know then argument cannot penetrate the heart but mercy can still change even such a heart mercy can fertilize even a barren mercy can fertilize even a barren heart and that is the omnipotence of the lord's mercy and what the, this we can consider what is the confidence of gopinath acharya in speaking this that he is saying 
not only will you accept this but you will propagate it in due course of time you will yourself your uh, declare a dr dramatically in fact antipodally different argument that is the miraculous power of mercy and a devotee's words and desires also have potency and lord chaitanya as we will see the, as the past time unfolds will indeed transform the heart of sarva bhattacharya and he will become one of the most pro prominent proponents of lord chaitanya's glories of lord chaitanya's divinity and sarva bhattacharya who will act as the link between chaitanya mahaprabhu and pratap rudra uh, thus chaitanya mahaprabhu's conquest of puri will attain completion with a first intellectual conquest of the foremost scholar and royal royal brahmin or royal royal advisor royal brahmanical advisor of the kingdom and through him the political conquest of pratapudra and in this way chaitanya mahaprabhu's mission in coming to jagannath puri and making him his like his headquarters that will be manifest so that all this will happen in due course of time of course the first chaitanya mahaprabhu will transform sarva bhattacharya that will happen over several after several days and then actually goes for several years most two years to the to a trip for south india and then when he comes back at that time he meets pratap rudra or other pratap rudra comes to meet him in the garb of a ordinary citizen and chaitanya mahaprabhu bestows his mercy and pratap rudra becomes his complete follower so in this way that that past time we started in chapter 13 14 of this mandir where this is the sixth chapter going on essentially the point is that mercy can work miracles and one miracle is fertilizing a barren heart let's we'll see in due course how that happens tomara ye shishya kahe kutarka na kutarka na navad ihar ki dosh e maya ra prasad this is your disciples are giving arguments which are kutark their false logic tarka is logic kutark is false logic and kutark nanavad and it is they giving different arguments but it is just jugglery ihar ki dosh e maya ra prasad ihar ki dosh no what is their fault it is this is the prasad of maya now normally we think of krishna prasad it's a interesting concept maya ra prasad the prasad if you consider as mercy then this is maya's mercy normally we don't consider maya as the source of mercy Prabhupada here appropriately translates this as just benediction. So it's too sarcastically. Nobody wants Maya's benediction, and Maya's benediction is not illumination but illusion. So very politely, Gopinath Acharya is tactfully shifting the blame from Sarvamo to his disciples. He says, "Not your arguments, your disciples' arguments." Like Sarvamo and Acharya did not really argue. and it's more like it's the disciple that advance some arguments but he's saying that he's deflecting the blame from him to the disciples and then from his disciples to maya he says is maya ra prasad but a wise person can understand what he is being saying and basically he's saying that your arguments are false they are a product of illusion 
although it's politely phrased as the benediction of illusion, but still the point is that he is saying that your arguments are illusion. We'll continue discussing this past time in our next talk. Thank you.